Hello everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the chunks in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Um, pretty much any version at this point. Um, if you've ever been on a beta or you've ever been through an update and you have an older world like I do, I have a world that's almost three years old. It's been through update after update after update. I think since like 1.0 or 1.1. Yeah, um, it's it's been a minute and you're going to notice that sometimes Minecraft loves to delete your chunks. So today I'm going to show you how to fix that. And if the chunks that are deleted had something in them, no, this is not going to recover anything in those deleted chunks. It is going to reset the chunks so it can actually load and you won't have a big hole in your world. So you won't just fall to your death half the time. Um, so please keep that in mind. This is not going to recover any old builds or any parts of old builds that are caused by deleted chunks, but this is going to fix the deleted chunks. So then you can at least have something to build off of. So let's get straight into it. Okay guys. So the first step is going to be download block tograph, a uh, block topograph or something like that. Uh, I, I don't know what it's called, but this is the app. Um, that's the logo and everything. Download it. It's free. This is going to be a tool for your Minecraft world. Um, there is a ton of features, um, and this is the app we're going to be using to repair our deleted chunks. Okay, guys, so if you don't know what a deleted chunk is, I am about to show you. Uh, I am coming up on the part where there are deleted chunks in this world, and these are what you call deleted chunks. It is a point in the world where Minecraft just doesn't know what or how to generate anything and you just get void. And to prove that this is not just invisible blocks, I can fall all the way down into the void underneath bedrock and in survival that kills you. Um, now you can call this an advantage or a disadvantage, but if you want to explore your Minecraft world, having this big 200 to 300 block gap is ridiculous and um, you would want to fix it most people want to fix this uh, in this world uh, this is my survival world um, this is just a copy of it before I fixed it um, this is the issue I had when the new nether update came out generation got screwed up somehow I don't know how and it left this big gigantic gap it just kept going and going and going and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to do that so Please keep in mind my coordinates, 2021, and I'm going to go all the way up so then if a mountain or something spawns right where I'm at, then I won't have an issue. So you see how all of this is void now, okay? So we're at 225, 233, so keep that in mind, guys. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to pick your world. When you open the app, you're going to get the list of all your worlds, and um, for this example, I have my world name deleted chunks video because... I'm doing a video on it. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on it and then you're going to hit the arrow. It's going to open up to exactly where your player position is in the world. Now it is going to generate the whole world that you have generated so far. So anything that you have built or anything you have done in the world, it is going to show up on this map like it is a regular map. Um, it also has different, um, different settings and stuff if you want to see if you want to see more videos on this app and how to use it i can do that later on but for right now we are going to focus on where my player is my player is at the exact same position it was at to prove that um i'm within the chunk of 2016 to 224 and that seems about right now all these grayed out blocks right where my character is all of these are the deleted chunks um all past here is just not generated that's why it is grayed out like that um all of this all the way down to here uh, where this ravine is all of this is deleted chunks now if you only have one deleted chunk pretty much just put your player near it so then you have a reference of uh, where you need to fix this yes you can fix this and still keep achievements in your world and um, like I said before, no, it does not re um, repair builds that were in chunks. But in survival, bring your character near where the deleted chunks are, and then go on to this app. So then it just it shows the map right where you are. How you're going to fix this is you are going to press and hold on a chunk. You're going to hit begin selection. I am going to um, only fix some of it. 
So then I can um, show y'all that this actually works. I'm actually not going to fix where the ravine is, but I'm going to fix this big gigantic area. Then you're going to take yourself up to the top of the screen and hit this arrow. It's going to give you a bunch of options about um, what you can do. Um, you can uh, lampshade torches, you can find and replace blocks, you can generate a picture, you can change the biome, and you can delete the chunk. Um, up, up above that, it just shows you the range and how big the thing is. Um, what we're going to do is hit delete chunk. Since the chunks are gone, what this is going to do, when I hit this, it says this will delete all chunks involved with your selected area. Minecraft could later generate the area again. So if we are getting that area again, Minecraft is going to think, okay, we haven't generated this area before, and it's going to regenerate it. Um, it ha and then it tells you about an auto-adjust feature where it adds 15 blocks onto your thing. Um, okay, there. It's done. That's as simple as it gets. So you just select the area, um, put it a little bit smaller so then it can auto-adjust, and boom, there you go. Now... What we're going to do is we're going to hit the back button, close the world, and it is saved in the files of the world. So now when we hit our world and we load it in, prepare to be amazed, it is about to be generated. We're looking straight and we're still at 224, 233. And if we look down, it is now generated the terrain. Um, this is, this is what we all fixed, and then if we go and we continue going this way, I believe the parts we haven't fixed are still here. So yes, this works, guys. Um, I can fix the rest of this, um, if I wanted to, but this is just an example. Guys, this works. If you have deleted chunks and you're worried about having to delete your world, if it's like a really important world, if you don't mind rebuilding some things or losing some items then this is probably the best thing for you right now. Um, I hope this video was informational, and if it was, please hit that like button and let me know. Uh, it's truly appreciated. I enjoy doing videos for y'all and uh, keeping y'all updated on the latest Minecraft news, even though I don't post that much. But yeah, I hope this was enjoyable, and if it was, that like button's down there. Also, subscribe if you're new, and um, be prepared for new videos like this all the time. Also, if you want me to do a video on the app itself and more features about the app, uh, don't mind hitting that like button down below as well, because that is greatly appreciated. Um, okay, guys, so I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, you already know. See you later. Moonbye.